A brief eye on the truth part four. A brief summary from the origin of Christianity to its present day reality. Human sacrifice is not needed. Dash four, God said, I desired mercy and not sacrifice and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. But they, like men, have transgressed the covenant. They have dealt treacherously against me there. Hosea 6 verses 6 to 7. Dash, for, you have had no pleasure in burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin. Hebrews 10 verse 6. Dash, and thus, Jesus said, if you had known what this means, I will have mercy and not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the guiltless. Matthew 12 verse 7. Dash thus, the Lord of hosts says, the God of Israel, put your burnt offerings to your sacrifices and eat flesh. For I did not speak to your fathers, nor command them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt, concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. But I commanded them this thing, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and you will be my people, and walk in all the ways that I have commanded you. That it may be well to you. But they did not listen, nor incline their ear, but they walked in the councils, and, in the imagination of their evil heart, and went backward. And not forward, Jeremiah 7 verses 21-24. Dash O mankind, fear your Lord, and fear a day when no father will avail his son, nor will a son avail his father at all. Indeed, the promise of God is truth, so let not the worldly life delude you and be not deceived about God by the deceiver. Quran 31,33 O people! Be mindful of your Lord by fulfilling his commands and refraining from his prohibitions, and fear his punishment on the day when no father will be able to benefit his child. Nor a child benefit its father in the slightest. Indeed, the promise of Allah of Regidal on the Day of Judgment is true and will inevitably be fulfilled, so let not the worldly life and whatever desires and amusements it contains deceive you. Nor let Satan deceive you by misunderstanding the forbearance of Allah and his delaying the punishment from you. Luckman, 33 Dash God wants to accept your repentance, but those who follow, their, passions want you to digress, into, a great deviation. Quran 427 Allah wants to turn to you and forgive you your disobedience, while those who follow their low desires want you to turn far away from the correct way of life. Allah wants to make things easy for you in His sacred law. He does not burden you with more than you are able to do, because He knows the weakness of human beings in their creation and nature. Anissa, 27-28 God promised to save His prophets and the believers. And we ransomed Him, Abraham, with a great sacrifice. Quran 37,107 and I set Ishmael free in exchange for a huge ram which was to be slaughtered instead of him. I preserved good praise for Abraham to remain among the following nations. As a commemoration for Abraham from Allah and a prayer to keep him safe from every harm and difficulty. As Safet 107-109 Dash, and thus, we will save our messengers and those who have believed. Thus, it is an obligation upon us that we save the believers. Quran 10 103 then I will send down the punishment on them and I will save my messengers and those of faith with them so that they are not injured by what hurts their people. Just as I save those messengers and the believers with them, I will most certainly save Allah's messenger and the believers with him, which is my duty to them. Say, O messenger, O people, if you are in doubt about my religion which I call you towards, the religion of monotheism, then I am certain of your religion being false and I will therefore not follow it. I will not worship those whom you worship besides Allah, but I will only worship Allah, the one who will cause you to die. He has instructed me to be of those who are sincere to him in religion. Eunice, 103-104 Dash, for, he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, who have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies, and from the hand of all who hate us. Luke 1 verses 70-71 God informed Jesus that one of his disciples will betray him. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say to him one after the other, Surely you don't mean me, Lord? Jesus replied, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go just as it is written about him. But woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray him, said, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi? Jesus answered, You have said so. Matthew 26, 20-25 Jesus was sad, he did not want to die, and he confirmed that he will not die. Dash, so, do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God, do not be far from me. 
Make haste to help me, O Lord my salvation. Psalms 38 verses 21 to 22. Dash, it reads, I will not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord, God. The Lord, God, has chastened me sore, but he has not given me over to death. Open the gates of righteousness to me, I will go into them, and, I will praise the Lord, God. This gate of the Lord, God, into which the righteous will enter. I will praise you, O God, for you have heard me, and have become my salvation. The stone, which, the builders refused, has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord, God's, doing, it, is, marvelous in our eyes. Psalms 118 verses 17 to 23. Jesus, praying to God for salvation. Dash, when he, went forward a little, and fell on the ground, and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. Mark 14 verse 35. Dash, thus, in you, O Lord, I put my trust, let me never be put to confusion. Psalms 71 verse 1. Dash, but I will hope continually, and will still praise you more and more. My mouth will show forth your righteousness, and, your salvation all the day, for I do not know the numbers, thereof. Psalms 71 verses 14 to 15. Dash deliver me in your righteousness, and cause me to escape, incline your ear to me, and save me. Be my strong habitation, whereto I may continually resort, you have given commandment to save me, for you, are, my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. Psalms 71 verses 2-4 to The enemy's plan and God's plan. Dash why do the nations conspire, and the people's plot in vain? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their chains and throw off their shackles. The one enthroned in heaven laughs, the Lord scoffs at them. He rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the Lord's decree. Slams 2 colon 1 7 Dash, for, the transgressors will be destroyed together, the end of the wicked will be cut off. Psalms 37 verse 38 Dash I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me, and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. Psalms 40 verses 1 to 2 Dash, and thus these, disbelievers planned, but God planned. And God is the best of planners. Quran 354 the disbelievers from the Israelites plotted to kill Jesus, peace be upon him, so Allah planned to leave them in their misguidance. And he made another person resemble Jesus, peace be upon him, on the occasion when they actually tried to murder him. Allah is the best plotter, because there can be nothing more severe than his plot against his enemies. Ali Imran, 54 Dash so never think that God will fail in his promise to his messengers. Indeed, God is almighty and owner of retribution. Quran 1447 O Messenger, do not think that Allah, who promised his messengers victory and the establishment of the religion, has given up on his promise to his messengers. Allah is noble and nothing overcomes his decree. He will strengthen and support his allies whilst reserving severe vengeance for his enemies and the enemies of his messengers. This revenge against the disbelievers will occur on the Day of Judgment. On the day that this earth will be exchanged for a barren and dustless earth and the skies will be exchanged for different skies. People will exit their graves with their bodies and deeds so that they can stand before Allah, who alone is the possessor and owner of kingdom and majesty. He subdues and is never subdued and he defeats and is never defeated. Ibrahim 47-48 The Lord saved Jesus from death. Dash, and thus, when, Jesus, had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears to him who was able to save him from death, he, was heard in that which he feared. Hebrews 5 verse 7 Dash they say, Indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Messenger of God. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but, another, was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption. And they did not kill him, for certain. Kerr and 4 colon 157. I cursed them because they proudly, but falsely, said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. 
those Jews who claim to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding the matter. They have no knowledge, but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth. Truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. Allah is mighty in his dominion and nothing can overpower him. He is wise in his planning, decisions and laws. Anissa 157-158 Dash, so, let us see if his words are true, and let us prove what will happen in the end of him. For if the just man is the son of God, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Wisdom of Solomon 2 colon 1718 Dash, mention, when God said, O Jesus. Indeed, I will take you and raise you to myself and purify you from those who disbelieve and make those who follow you, in submission to God alone, superior to those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. Then to me is your return, and I will judge between you concerning that in which you used to differ. Quran 355 Allah also planned against them by saying to Jesus, O Jesus, I will take you away alive, raise your body and soul to me, rid you of the filth of those who disbelieved you and distance you from them. I will make those who follow you part of the true religion, which includes acceptance of Muhammad, peace be upon him. And they will have greater proof and might over those who disbelieve you until the day of resurrection. Then to me alone will be your return on the day of resurrection and I will pass through judgment between you regarding your differences. Ali Imran, 55 Dash, so, this poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. For, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man who trusts in him. Psalms 34 verses 6 to 8 Dash this poor man called, and the Lord heard him, he saved him out of all his troubles. Psalms 34 verse 6 Dash he protects all his bones, not one of them will be broken. Psalms 34 verse 20 The Lord kept him alive. Dash, it reads, blessed is he who considers the poor, the Lord will deliver him in a time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him, and keep him alive, and, he will be blessed upon the earth, and you will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Psalms 41 verses 1 to 2 Dash, for, God raised, Jesus, to himself. And ever is God Almighty and most wise. For, colon 158, Quran. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. Allah is mighty in his dominion and nothing can overpower him. He is wise in his planning, decisions and laws. Isa 158 Jesus thanked his Lord. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So, they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. John 11 hours 40 minutes and 41 seconds. The betrayer regretted and suffered the consequences of his sin. Although many Christians believe that the words below were uttered by Jesus, Muslims believe that they were uttered by the traitor who betrayed him. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me and from the words of my roaring? My God, I cry out during the day, but you do not answer, and during the night my prayers do not let up. You are holy, you sit as king receiving the praises of Israel. In you our ancestors trusted, they trusted in you, and you rescued them. To you they cried out, and they were saved, in you they trusted, and they were not disappointed. But I am a worm, not a man, people insult me and despise me. All who see me taunt me, they mock me and shake their heads. They say, Commit yourself to the Lord. Let the Lord rescue him. Let the Lord deliver him, for he delights in him. Yes, you are the one who brought me out from the womb and made me feel secure on my mother's breasts. I have been dependent on you since birth, from the time I came out of my mother's womb you have been my God. Do not remain far away from me, for trouble is near and I have no one to help me. Psalms 22 verses 1 to 11 God is the only Savior. Dash, for God said, I, even, I, am, the Lord, and beside me, there is, no Savior. Isaiah 43 verse 11 Dash, thus, unquestionably, for God is the pure religion. And those who take saviors besides him, say, we only serve them that they may bring us nearer to God in position. Indeed, God will judge between them concerning that over which they differ. Indeed, God does not guide he who is a liar and, confirmed, disbeliever. Quran 39 3 Definitely, for Allah is the religion pure of impurities. 
and those who have taken friends besides Allah, such as idols which they worship besides Allah, presenting an excuse for worshipping them by saying, We do not worship these except so that they bring us closer to Allah in status, present our needs to Him and intercede on our behalf with Him. Allah will decide between the monotheist believers and the disbelievers who associate partners with Allah on the Day of Judgment regarding the oneness of Allah they used to differ in. Allah does not place guidance in the hearts of those who lie against Allah by attributing an associate with Him and who denies Allah's favors upon Him. Azizimr, 3. Beside God there is no other God. Dash, for God said, I am the Lord, and there are none else, there is no God beside me, I girded you, though you have not known me, Isaiah 45 verse 5. Dash, for, they serve other than God that which neither harms them nor benefits them, and they say, these are our intercessors with God. Say, do you inform God of something he does not know in the heavens or on the earth? Exalted is he and high above what they associate with him. Current 10 colon 18. The idolaters worship what they claim to be gods beside Allah, which cannot benefit or harm them, while Allah can benefit and harm as he wills. And they say that the things they worship will plead with Allah on their behalf, so that they will not be punished for their sins. Ask them, O Messenger, would you inform Allah, the knowing, that he has a partner, when he does not know of a partner for himself in the heavens or the earth? Allah is divine and far above the falsehood and lies of the idolaters. People were just one believing, unified nation, then they differed, some of them still had faith, while others disbelieved. If it had not been for the decree of Allah that he would not judge between them in what they differed about, then it would have been made clear which of them were guided and which of them were astray. Eunice, 18-19 Jesus confirmed his humanity and his servitude to God. Dash, O Lord, truly, I am your servant, I am your servant, and, the son of your handmaid, you have loosed my bonds. Psalms 116 verse 16 Dash, Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. John 20 verse 17 Dash, Jesus, said, Indeed, I am the servant of God. He has given me the scripture and made me a prophet. Quran 19,29-30 She pointed towards her son Jesus, peace be upon him, who was in the cradle. So the people said in surprise, How can we talk to a child who is in the cradle? Jesus, peace be upon him, said, I am the servant of Allah. He gave me the gospel and made me one of his prophets. And he made me a great benefit for the servants wherever I am. And he ordered me to perform prayer and give zakat for as long as I live. Maryam, 29-31 We read, also, Jesus referred to himself as Son of Man. Dash so, Jesus said, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own. John 8 verse 28 Dash for the Son of Man came to seek out and to save the lost. Luke 19 verse 10 Also, Jesus referred to himself as a prophet. Dash yet today, tomorrow, and the next day I must be on my way, because it is impossible for a prophet to be killed outside of Jerusalem. Luke 13 verse 33 Dash this is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Matthew 21 verse 11 Jesus referred to himself as man. Dash as it is, you are looking for a way to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do such things. John 8 verse 40 Dash men of Israel, listen to this, Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders and signs, which God did among you through him, as you yourselves know. Acts 2 verse 22 Dash this man was handed over to you by God's set purpose and foreknowledge, and you, with the help of wicked men, put him to death by nailing him to the cross. Acts 2 verse 23 Dash for he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. He has given proof of this to all men by raising him from the dead. Acts 17 verse 31 Dash for there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2 verse 5 Dash but the gift is not like the trespass. For if the many died by the trespass of the one man, Adam, how much more did God's grace and the gift that came by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow to the many? Romans 5 verse 15 The Greek word for man in these verses is anthropos. The Greek word anthropos means a human being, whether male or female, generically, to include all human individuals, to distinguish man from beings of a different race or order. 
Anthropos is used to describe Adam, the first man. In the same verse, Romans 5 verse 15, it is used to describe Jesus Christ. If words mean anything, one must believe that Jesus Christ was a flesh and blood human being just like Adam. On the other hand, Scripture says God is not a man, God is not a man, that he should lie, nor a son of man. Numbers 23 19 Dash God is not a human being, that he should lie, or a mortal. Numbers 23 19 RSV Dash for I am God, and not man the Holy One among you. Hosea 11 verse 9 Because of Jesus' miraculous birth people want to believe he is Son of God, begotten. By that logic then Adam and Eve, who came from no father or mother, should also be full children of God. The believer understands that if God can create Adam from dust, without male and female parents, he can easily create Jesus without a male parent. Indeed, the example of Jesus to God is like that of Adam. He created him from dust, then he said to him, Be, and he was. Quran 3:59. With Allah, the example of the creation of Jesus, peace be upon him, is like the creation of Adam, who was born from dust without a father or mother. Allah simply said to him, Become a man. And he became as Allah willed. How do you then assume that Jesus is a God on the basis that he has no father when you accept that Adam is human despite his having no father or mother? Ali Imran, 59. The law of Moses should be fulfilled. Dash and we sent, following in their footsteps, Jesus, the son of Mary, confirming that which came before him in the Torah. And we gave him the gospel, in which was guidance and light, and confirming that which preceded it of the Torah as guidance and instruction for the righteous. Quran 546 After the prophets of the Israelites, I sent Jesus, son of Mary, as a believer in the Torah, giving judgment in accordance with it. I also gave him the gospel that contained guidance to the truth and evidences to remove doubts and solve difficult cases of rulings. It corresponded to the Torah that came before it, except in a few rulings that it replaced. I made the gospel a guide and a means to restrain people from doing that which was prohibited. The Christians should believe in what Allah has revealed in the gospel and they should judge in accordance with the truth it contains prior to the coming of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Whoever does not judge according to what Allah has sent down, then such people are the ones who do not follow Allah and leave the truth for falsehood. Almida 46-47 Dash, so Jesus, said to them, These, are, the words which I spoke to you, while I was with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and, in, the prophets, and, in, the Psalms, concerning me. Luke 24 verse 44 Jesus will condemn his people. Dash, for Jesus said, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? And in your name, we have cast out devils? And in your name, O Lord Jesus, done many wonderful works? And then I will profess to them, I never knew you, depart from me, you who work iniquity. Matthew 7 verses 22 to 23. Dash, so, beware the day, when God will say, O Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to the people, take me and my mother as gods besides God? He will say, exalted are you. It was not for me to say that to which I have no right. If I had said it, you would have known it. You know what is within myself, and I do not know what is within yourself. Indeed, it is you who is knower of the unseen. I said not to them except what you commanded me, to serve God, my Lord and your Lord. And I was a witness over them as long as I was among them, but when you took me, you were the observer over them, and you are, over all things, witness. Quran 5 colon 116-117 Remember that Allah will address Jesus son of Mary, peace be with him, on the day of rising and ask him whether he told people to worship him and his mother besides Allah. Jesus will reply, declaring Allah's purity, it was not right for me to tell them anything but the truth. If I had said that, you would know it, because nothing is hidden from you. You know what I keep hidden within myself, but I do not know what is with you. You are the only one who knows everything that is hidden and everything that is apparent. Jesus will say to his Lord, only told people what you instructed me to tell them, to worship you alone. For as long as I remained amongst them, I watched over what they were saying. When my term ended and I was raised to the sky alive, you, O oh Lord, were watching their actions. You are a witness to everything and nothing is hidden from you, so you know what I said to them and what they said after me. If you punish them, O oh Lord, they are your servants and you can do with them as you wish. If you graciously forgive those of them who had faith, nothing can stop you from doing so because you are the mighty, who cannot be overpowered, and the wise in your handling of matters. 
Allah will say to Jesus, Peace be with him, that the day of rising is a day on which the truthfulness of those who are true in their intentions, statements and actions will be of benefit to them. They will receive gardens with palaces and trees overlooking flowing streams, in which they will live eternally, with death never coming to them. Allah will be pleased with them and will never become angry with them. They will be pleased with Allah because of the everlasting delight they have received. Such reward and pleasure is the supreme success, which cannot be equaled by any other. Allah alone controls the heavens and the earth, and everything within them. He is their creator and the one who handles their affairs. He has power over everything and nothing can overpower him. Almida 116-120 Dash and he will say, Where are their gods, their rock in whom they trusted, which ate the fat of their sacrifices, and drank the wine of their drink offerings? Let them rise up and help you, and be your protection. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no god with me, I kill, and I make alive, I wound, and I heal, neither are there any that can deliver out of my hand. Deuteronomy 32 verse 37 39 Dash, so, warn of, the day when he will say, Call my partners whom you claimed, and they will invoke them, but they will not respond to them. And we will put between them, a valley of, destruction. And the criminals will see the fire, and will be certain that they are to fall therein. And they will not find from it a way elsewhere. Quran 18 52-53 Mention to them O Messenger of the Day of Judgment, when Allah will say to those who had associated partners with him in the world. Call my partners whom you claimed were partners to me, Sathat, they can help you. They will call them, but they will not answer their call, and they will not come to their assistance, I will place between the worshippers and those whom they worshipped a pit of destruction, which will be for both groups, and this is the fire of hell. The idolaters will see the fire, and they will be completely certain that they are going to fall into it. They will not find any placido escape to from it. Alkaf, 52-53